The protection of copyright is an obligation of nations in order to promote and encourage innovation and creativity. The copyright law gives the owner of copyrighted work the exclusive right to control the reproduction of copyrighted work. This right, however, does not bestow on the copyright owner an absolute monopoly to control access to copyright information. The doctrine of fair use is the concept that gives permission to use a copyrighted work without attributing the author. But with the emergence of OER, authors can release their work under an open intellectual property license with some restrictions. My name is Okechiko Okafo, and in this unit, we will be discussing OER and copyright. By the end of this unit, you should be able to distinguish between OER and copyright material and identify OERs and copyright materials. What is copyright? A copyright is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the exclusive right to copy and distribute a creative work, usually for a limited time. The time limit differs in various countries, however similar. In Nigeria, a copyright expires 70 years after the death of the author or the surviving last author in case of a joint authorship. This ranges from literary music, artistic work, apart from photos. However, rights for cinematography, films, photograph, sound recording, and broadcast last for 50 years. But with introduction of the doctrine of fair use, which is aimed at balancing the exclusive rights of copyright owners and access to information by all. I know some of us might have heard of the word fair use. What is a fair use? Fair use is an affirmative defense that can be raised in a response to claim by a copyright owner that a person is infringing a copyright. Fair use permits a party to use a copyrighted work without the copyright owner's permission for purpose of such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Now, OERs. OERs are learning materials released under an open intellectual property license or in the public domain, allowing free of cost and legal reuse, revision, remixing, redistribution, and retain. While OERs are mainly shared in digital format, online and offline, OER can also be in a printable format. The Open Intellectual Property License we will be discussing is Creative Commons License, as you can see on your screen. We'll be discussing this in the fourth unit, Unit 4 of this week. Also, we'll be discussing more on OER in Unit 3. Now that you've understood the definition of copyright and OER, let us see how we can distinguish copyright materials from OER. Come along. Now, as, as we can, now that we've discussed OER and copyright, let's quickly distinguish between a copyright material and an OER um, material. As you can see on your screen, these are two different course materials from the same institution, that's National Open University of Nigeria. As you can see on my left-hand side of the screen, this is the license page of this particular course material. The course material is NSC 205, Human Anatomy. And this is the license page. As you can see, it, it is printed in the, in the year 2021 and also has an ISBN number here. Now, it says, all rights reserved. No part of this book may be reproduced in any form or by any means without permission in writing from the publisher. So before you can use this content, before you can use this material, you need to reach out to the Now Press or National Open University of Nigeria or any of these authors here before you can use this um, material. But on, on my right-hand side, looking at it, this is an OER material 
of a similar course, which is same human anatomy, NSC 102. But the license page, as you can see here, it's being licensed under a Creative Commons license, CC by SA. We'll be discussing more on um, different types of Creative Commons license. Uh, we'll be discussing more on different types of Creative Commons license in our fourth unit, in unit four. So for the OER, you can see the OER, this OER material has a license and also has, has a literature of how to use this material. Now, it says here that this publication is made available in open access under this attribution share alike CC by SA license. By using this content of this publication, the user accepts to be bound by the terms of use. So you can just go through this um, license page and instruction and also how to reuse and attribute this content. So they've given you guides on how to use this material. Now, by, by the time we look at Creative Commons license, you will understand what exactly this Creative Commons um, license means. Come along as we explore copyrights and intellectual property in Unit 2.